Welcome to a solo Rust adventure. Rust without teammates is no joke. Facing off against clans with unlimited sizes, a true solo player must take advantage of certain tactics in order to succeed. Tactics which today, I'm gonna show you. See, I'm a player with almost 10,000 hours, most of which was solo. And while I may not be the best fragger, what I do have is experience. Now today, I'm on a 1,000 player official server, just seconds after wipe. But if that wasn't hard enough, I've got my sights set on the most clan competitive monument. Launch site. But that's okay, because I'm gonna show you guys that even in this harsh environment, a solo player can thrive. So, let's begin. All right, we are zooming. I have marked launch site on the map. It is in the snow, which is always a bit of a challenge, but we're going anyway. Yoink, 30 cloth. We got a bag already. That is a strong start. Let's go. Oh, that guy already has a bow. He's fast as fuck. Now, especially on fresh wipe, most people like to farm off the beach and get themselves a bow. But that's not me. See, with a thousand other players also spawning in, your chances of getting a weapon and surviving the chaos is pretty slim. I focus instead on bags, immediately distancing myself as far as possible from the beaches while getting respawn points. Okay, first bag is down, but before I head further south, I'm gonna get some more cloth because it's gonna be really tricky getting enough for more bags once I get into the snow. But already, even if I die, I never have to go back to the beach again this wipe. So, we're looking good. Okay, now while most of the tactics I employ, anyone could use. <laughs> we're gonna go a little bit grubby today. We're going full white out skins. Because today, I am the solo ghost. Now, I actually wouldn't recommend taking fights unless you have to early wipe like this, but I mean, come on, you walked right in front of me, man. It's not my fault. Oh, this is beautiful. Getting all the cloth I need. I'll have more than enough for bags. We're chilling. Think I'm ready to head into the snow. Oh, yeah, we're looking fly as fuck. <laughs> Ooh, four pipes, big. There's a hazzy behind me. I'm not sure if he's following me. Nope. I think we're good. Another bag down here. Getting deeper into the map as we go. Oh, this is beautiful. This is the dream. Crates at every junk pile. My word. Oh, I just got a crossbow. Okay. Oh my god. This this happens in the movies, man. And a hatchet. Oh my god, it's a beautiful start. Let's go. Now that I had distanced myself far from the spawn beaches, I felt a little safer to begin farming for my base. But I wouldn't be the only person this far ahead. Oh. No way. Have I just got a horse and a metal pickaxe? Surely not. Oh my, oh my God. And a salvaged ax. Okay. Okay, I have to get a base down now. I can't waste any time. If I died with all of this, I think I might cry. <laughs> Let's go, we got a horse as well. Oh, this is actually incredible. Oh my god. Nope, 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 nope. I don't think he heard me. The only possible way I die is if someone has a faster horse than me. Now, let me set a little scenario for you. You've had a smooth start to wipe, you win a couple bow fights, and you set your base down. And then, over the next two hours, you lose fight after fight right outside your base, barely even able to farm a single tree, before you're back to a rock and a torch. Well, if that's sounding familiar, no. You're not bad at the game, you just haven't picked the right base location. And as a solo, simply finding the right spot can mean the difference between your best wipe ever and a one hour rock session. Now, knowing where to build comes with experience. And there's no perfect spot every time, but there are a few rules that I tend to try and follow. Now, it may have become a meme at this point that I always build on the top of mountains, but I sincerely believe the high ground is so important, enabling you to take control of the space and remain relatively uncontested, giving you much easier access to farm. So, high ground. And next, this may come as a bit of a surprise, but I actually stay away from roads and small monuments. 
With the high traffic of players and roof camp bases everywhere, going solo can very quickly become hopeless. However, the vast build radius and endless opportunity for grubbing that comes with the bigger monuments is perfect for a solo grub like myself. And so here we are, at the top of a mountain, looking over launch sites, ready to embark on a solo adventure. Ah, oh, okay, now I slightly miscalculated and I do not have enough to build my full base, but I have a secure tool cupboard and a bag and that is all that matters. Oh, that feels good. Right, I'm gonna try and get some farm done. Oh no, I think this is the revolver guy. I think I'm gonna try and run. I don't want to fight him, not with all this stuff on me. I think he's gonna run too, that guy's scared. Ah, there we go. We are secure. Okay, now I'm gonna take advantage of the head start that I've got and I'm just gonna try and farm all of my area quickly and use my horse to escape if I need. Well, let's go. Okay, so we've got a little base over there. Hopefully not a group, although we shall find out. Now something to bear in mind is I'm not completely set on my base location yet. I am going to have to give it some time because you never know, especially next to a launch site like this, I could have a 12-man group build right next to me. And if that's the case, sometimes you just, you got to go. But I've got a good feel. What do we have here? Oh, no. Alright, if I can get this home, this is a fantastic start. I'm not going to get too greedy, not going to farm anymore. I'm going to get back, get this banked, and we are looking good. Oh, I do want to go for this farmer. Does he have a weapon? Oh, he doesn't. Okay, good. We got him. Get over here. Ah! What? No! Okay, there we go. That gave me a run. Oh, that was not worth it. But you never know. You know, if that was someone that wanted to build right next to me, could have been the bane of my existence, this wipe, so... Good to get him out the way. Ah! What a way to begin this wipe. Oh my gosh. People already have revolvers around me. As fast as you are as a solo, there are always going to be groups that are faster, that's for sure. Oh no, he's going to get away. No! No! Oh, that would have been so free. Another guy on a horse. That wasn't the same one. Ooh. It looks like they live there. And I bet they're more than two people. Okay, I'll keep an eye out on them. Now, as well as the base location, to survive as a solo, you also have to pay attention to the base you're building. Too big and fancy, and the groups will want to offline you pretty quickly. Equally too small, and you'll be pretty vulnerable. It's about finding that perfect middle ground. Compact, strong bases, too tanky for the small groups to raid, and not worth the boom for the big groups to raid. And today's build is exactly that. Oh, I forgot to upgrade the triangle on the roof. Oh dear. Oh, hang on a minute. That guy's got a chain store on his back. I think he might be moving loot. I'm going. Come on, he should be just over this road. Oh! Oh no, he has no gun. Wait. No! No! Come back! Oh! I got him! He already had like four nails. Oh my gosh, let's go. He was moving loot. That is huge! I think he was moving it to that 2 by one up on the hill. That's the way. My word, what a start to wipe. A loot delivery. 
180 scrap and my very own workbench. Beautiful. Yeah, I saw the chainsaw on his back and he was running away from the 2 by one So I figured he had to like have been moving something. But uh, I wasn't expecting that much. God damn. Did I just get both my horses stolen? I think I did. I think they came back with a vengeance. He was obviously part of a group. While I now had an airlock, my base was still vulnerable to eco raids. What I needed was a metal door, and so I headed out to get my hands on a furnace. Oh, looks like we have a new group living down here. This is one guy farming up there, one guy on his way to launch, and I hear someone inside, which means there's at least three. This could be a problem. Oh, that guy's seen me. Yep, I'm getting out of here. I will be taken by a horse back. Another one over here. I don't really want to fight because they live so close. I'm just going to ignore him. Keep going. On the hunt for animals. And speaking of, there is a deer. Hey, now we can go with the, uh, the full whiteout set with the poncho included. Ooh, there's a bear right there. Ah, and there are two hazies up there. I'm just gonna give them some time to pass before I try and fight this. Alright, come here, you fat fuck. Oh, nope, nope. I, oh, shit. Okay, I, I misjudged that. I'm sorry. Am I gonna. Oh, I'm gonna take a hit. Oh, that hurts. Oh my god, he's so quick! I'm not gonna be able to take a shot. <laughs> it's fucking zooming! Oh god. Alright, here we go. I need to get it to run from me. Yes, perfect. Easy. Alright, if I can farm this and get this home, then that is a successful run. Don't need to greed anymore. We got a bear, we got a deer. Enough low grade for a furnace. That is all I came for. to avoid these guys base that I think is right around this corner. Oh, yep. <laughs> That's one of them right there. Uh, I don't think you can kill me. I'm fine. Lovely stuff. And with the animal fat from the bear, I got two furnaces crafted straight away. It's important to get metal smelting all throughout wipe day if you want to stay ahead as a solo. Now, I do want a little airlock for my second furnace, so we are going to go super compact with today's base. No complicated bunkers. We're going to go with a simple design, but one that can be really strong, thanks to how uh, compact the core is. Just 30 minutes into wipe and night was falling on the first rust day. Not looking to be in launch site after dark, I did a last bit of farming before the sun set. Rust can be stressful, and without anyone watching your back, playing solo can be even more mentally taxing. So, don't feel like you have to spend every second being productive. Chill out, take some time during night, organize your base, get a drink, and when morning comes, you'll be ready. Get some bear meat cooking on the fireplace. Beautiful, metal door down. Now I am not going to get eco-rated. Alright, you know what? Today with a solo ghost, we're wearing the full whiteout. Let's let's make a compound bow. We're going full sneak mode solo today. Ah, <sighs> what a morning. I have a pretty good view from up here. And after the first day of farming and sorting my base, I was now ready to head into the launch site. Now this is where the true solo challenge really begins. It has been a long time since I have uh, been a launch site rat. I actually can't remember the last time I built by launch. I miss it, man. I miss it. You know what? <laughs> I've got an idea. This is going to get me killed, but... I... <laughs> what, what the heck? I've got a compound bow. And now we wait. Never mind. I don't even have to wait. There's a player right there. I'm gonna let him get a little bit closer. Wait, there's no way. They already.
already see me? What the fuck? That was kind of weird. Oh, man. Oh, I hear one near me, below me. Oh, I'm so dead. This is quite a big group. What? Oh. <laughs> okay, dude. Well, launch is going to be tough. I almost forgot. You see this screen right here? The death screen. Well, if you want to play solo, you're going to have to get used to it. Because the more you play, the more you're going to die over and over again. And what makes a great solo is being able to pick yourself up and go again. All right, now I have a plan for today, guys. Because I'm playing at launch site, I'm going to have to expect to die quite a bit. So I'm going to need something reliable to go in with every time. And I think that's going to be the water pipe. It's wood and metal. Stuff that I can get infinitely because of where I live. So unlike a revolver or a bow or crossbow where I need rope and cloth and all that, I can effectively craft unlimited of these. And I'm just going to keep going back until eventually I make the play. So that is the plan. We die until it works. Let's go. Ooh. Someone farming above me. Ooh, I might be able to do something here. No. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's annoying timing. White burlap kit, water pipe, we go again. Oh, shit. Sounds like my neighbors have SARS now. So it's these guys. Still living in effectively a two by one. Oh. Oh, this is many more than two or three. I think it's five or six. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna stay away from that for now. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think the Lord Psych group are here. I mean, maybe. If I can kill the Saw, I might be able to do something. But I have to kill him. Alright, we're using the pay to win skins. I'm sitting in this bush. Oh my god, I am literally surrounded. <gasps> Wait, that was bad timing. Please don't look at me. <gasps> There's no way. That's not the saw. I need to find the saw. Oh, that's him there, but I can't. <laughs> Holy fuck. The camo is working. Okay, there's one on the roof of this building. If maybe he has a revolver. There's no way he's going to hear me. timing right wait bro what why is he there oh no i'm screwed now i have no idea why he peeked me from there that was so random they're trying to shoot me from silos no bradley come on man oh god nah i'm getting shafted why why me Okay, we go back to the bush. Wait, no, Bradley, don't do this. No, Bradley's forcing me around. Okay, I'm dead. I, I literally can't go anywhere. <gasps> and he sees me. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so dead. No. <laughs> Fucking Bradley, man. There's a massive group here. And the tank goes for me. But it's fine. We go water pipe again. I can do this all day. While it's all very well running it down until I eventually make the play, I knew that I would need to reliably bring loot back, and pretty soon, if I ever wanted to get the workbench level 2. So, it was time to slightly readjust my tactics. 
Okay, now it's clear that the recycler side of launch site is chaos. I mean, there are lots of groups over there. So what I'm going to do is try and do a short loot run on this side of launch in the buildings that I can avoid the rest of the players and then just go home. This is one of my favorite little launch site routes for farming scrap. It's a nice quick in and out and you get six or seven brown crates. Oh, even a mill crate to finish it off. Ooh, flamethrower. Right. Good run. Let's go home. After one successful run, I now knew that I had a reliable way of farming components. Something that was repeatable that would get me through the day. Things were looking up. Right, now if I want to keep running a launch site and dying quite a lot, I'm going to need more leather and I'm going to need more cloth so that I can keep making clothing. So I'm going to go on a quick hunt for animals. Ooh. Looks like a solo on a horse. I'm going to see if I can track this guy. Okay, he's getting off the horse to farm barrels. It's going to be tough with just a water pipe. It's very open. I can use the bushes to sneak up, though. Using line of sight to stay out of vision, I made my way closer to my target. Oh, that's huge. Okay, now we just wait for him to go back to his horse. Hope he doesn't see me. Oh, no! He saw me! Wait, I got him! Come here, bitch! Oh, come on. Don't headshot me. <laughs> Let's go. 18 sewing kits? Okay. I will take that. And we out. I wanted to farm that bear, but you never know when someone might have teammates. I'm not taking my chances. Easy run. That's what we needed. Plays like that. One water pipe to an inventory. Okay, we're looking good. 355 scrap. I got plenty of components. If I can make a run to outpost at some point, that would be very helpful. But, uh, no, this is a strong start. Just a small amount of scrap away from the workbench level 2, I return to the launch site for my farming route. Ah, no crate in here. Hopefully it's not fully looted. You know what? Honestly, it might not seem like much, but runs like this are so helpful. And I'm just going to keep doing them. Short, sweet, get 50 scrap plus components each time. This is what we need. I wonder if I can make this jump. I can. This would be really helpful. Let's get back to base. Oh, I can. Fucking sick. Easy. 100 scrap away. Let's go. You know what? We've done a couple of safe runs. I think I'm going to go to the other side of launch. See what's going on. Oh yeah, as expected. Chaos. Let's see if I can do something. Oh my good god. I am fully surrounded. <laughs> oh no, dude. Okay, yep. <laughs> that is why I cannot recycle at launch site. You guys know the drill by now. Water pipe. Boom. Poncho. We go again. What is going on? Okay. You didn't see me? That's good. Uh oh. I think it's still quite a big group here. Okay. Are these guys all together? Like, what? <laughs> oh, I got MP5, Saar, Thompsons, like... What do I even do? Night was once again falling on the server. Now, despite all the dying, to ensure that I always stay on top of my resources, for every few deaths, I head out on a farming run, restocking my wood and metal, ensuring I never run out. I feel like using a chainsaw is just, if there's someone nearby, you die. You know what I mean? You just have to pray that no one hears you, because if, if they do, there's nothing I can do. They're just gonna 
They're gonna jump me. Alright, that'll do. I'm not getting any more. Okay, that is all the wood for the furnaces. Now I'm gonna go and do some node farming. And then I will have <laughs> enough for unlimited water pipes. Alright, let's open this base up a little bit. Getting a bit too cozy in here. Ow. Ow. Okay. Oh, I can even put a box. Lovely. Look at that. Guys, I, I promise I will organize loot at some point, but not now. Okay. Can't be bothered. Okay, no more messing around. I'm 100 scrap off the tier 2. Let's grind this out. Let's get it done. I'm not sure if it's clear over there. Oh, that is an Arctic. I don't know if he knows I saw him. Oh, he knows. What? How is that not a headshot? Oh, I've been scammed. He's low though. Oh my god, this guy's the best. Ah, oh, come on, man. So close. Okay, you know what? I have lots of pipes. I don't have much cloth, but I think it's time to upgrade from the water pipe to the revolver. I think that's what I need to win more of these fights. Ooh, solar panel. Wait, that's huge. That means I don't need to find tech trash. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go home with that. Another small run, but worth it. I'm getting closer. Okay, now I'm gonna want to expand my base soon, and I saw a ton of stone nodes just down this ridge, so I'm gonna see if I can farm them quickly. That'll do. Right, 75 scrap to go. Back to launch. Oh, there are actually people on my side of launch site. What do they think they're doing? This is my ends. Oh! You know what? I'm taking that and I'm going. I am not pushing into that building against a double barrel. That's a lot of loot. Oh, <laughs> they found me. You are not killing me from there, my man. I'm out. Oh, pain. Needing just six more scrap for the workbench level two, I headed back to the launch site and quickly found out. <laughs> okay, bro, I just needed the six scrap. And tired of waiting any longer, I simply headed to the road and hit three barrels. Right, there we go. The six scrap, I'm out. I'm going home. Can't pass up on a cheeky metal node, though. Ah, there we go. Two hours in, workbench level two. We got a lot of other comps, though. If I'd been able to recycle, I would uh, have got that a lot faster. So honestly, I'm not. I'm not worried about my speed. Speed of progress today. I'm pretty content. Oh, you guys, mind? I'm trying to build over here. And finally, with all of the necessary resources, I crafted up the workbench level 2. One of the most crucial things to rush as a solo player. Because not only does this give you access to new weapons, but most importantly, a solo's two best friends. The garage door and the electric furnace. The first instantly tripling the raid cost of your compact base, and the latter providing you infinite metal fragments without ever needing to farm wood or restock furnaces. Meaning if you go on a break for an hour or two, you'll come back to far more metal than you ever would without them. Beautiful. Right, now what I'm gonna do, because I wanna take a break in a bit, I wanna get some honeycomb done, and I wanna set up that electric furnace so that my base can be at least eight rockets minimum to raid, which will be absolutely fine for just a couple of hours into the wipe. I just wanted to make sure that I got this before I took the break, just in case someone decided to uh, to try and raid me. And this is the beauty of the four triangle starter. With just this honeycomb, and then a garage door, and upgrading the ceilings to metal, 
this will be eight rockets, which is that's a lot of sulfur for a, for a very, very cheap base. And as soon as I upgrade the core to metal or armored, that will go to uh, 12 or even 15 rockets, so pretty strong. I saw a bear while I was building, and I am not going to pass up on that leather. Come here, Yogi. No. No, don't run. Alright, there we go. Now, if you're a solo, or actually anyone in Rust who's never used electricity, Today, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to show you the simplest and just the best circuit you can possibly do. And it's so easy. So, all you need is a small battery like that, put it on the tool cupboard, put it on the workbench, wherever you want. Then, we need our power source. Now, all you actually need to run electric furnaces is just one solar panel. So, we're going to do that. Now, all we need is one solar panel to power three electric furnaces infinitely. So, we're just going to put it facing north, somewhere high up on your base, preferably on the roof. And then we just take the power output and bring it down straight into our small battery. Just like that. Perfect. And now, because I only have one electric furnace for now, I'm just going to take the power out and send it directly into the electric furnace. But if I had three, all I would need to do is place a splitter on the wall and put the power into the splitter. And then from each of the outputs into your three electric furnaces. And that will run infinitely off just a single solar panel. And it's as simple as that, you never have to farm wood to smelt your metal again, which is a beautiful thing when time is so important for a solo. Okay, gonna get a second garage door down, and then I think I'm gonna window off the tool cupboard, because then the door raid path will actually be 11 rockets. And I feel like most people raiding this base would probably raid it through doors, because it looks like it would be cheaper than going through honeycomb, but actually it's not. Okay, now we got a full electric furnace, so when I come back, that'll have 2k cooked frags. I'm gonna upgrade the ceiling above TC in my loot room. And now I feel 100% confident that my base will be fine in an hour or two's time. Lovely. Now I'm gonna get some food, take a mental reset, and I will be back. Hey, unrated. As expected. Oh yeah, there we go. 3k frags. Love to see it. Right, now I am down tremendous on cloth, so what I am going to try and do is fix that. Now first I'm going to try and recycle, um, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to go to Outpost, and I'm going to buy Tactical Gloves. Oh, that group have expanded a lot. Oh, there's also a new base right there. Interesting. I might have to raid that. That is very close to mine. Yeah, it looks like a single wood door, probably an airlock. I'm going to craft up as many mollies as I can. I don't have much low grade, but I think I can make four. Oh wait, actually, I can look through that door skin. Oh, there's a metal door behind it. Man. You know what though? I bet that's just one double door. I might actually look to raid that. Four satchels, 1k GP. I think it could be worth. With a new neighbor and no knowledge of whether they're online, I would have to act fast. So, I got to work farming sulfur. Alright, let's get 2k sulfur or cooking. That is all I will need for the raid. I just have to give that some time to smelt down. In the meantime, I am running dangerously low on low grade. I am going to go hunting for animals. There we go, that's what I needed. Oh, convenient. Damn, I actually have quite a good amount of components. Well, I don't have many semi-bodies, which is annoying, so I want to be able to craft P2s. Yeah, I think I'm going to go before that fight moves on over to me. Seems like my neighbors down there have uh, grown quite strong. Right, 
While my sulfur gets smelting, I am going to fix my cloth problem. I'm going to hit the road, I'm going to farm barrels along my way, and then I'm going to make my way to Outpost and try and recycle. Without having traveled to Outpost yet this wipe, I had no idea how dangerous it would be, and so didn't risk bringing the components with me to recycle, instead farming as I made my way there. Oh no, dude. That missed! Wait, no, I think I body shot it. <laughs> Let's go. Pipe slugs for the win. Oh my god. Why do I have so many frags on him? Oh, is that P2? Ah. Ah, well, I wanted to go to Outpost, but I kind of have to bank now. I haven't heard anything from my neighbor, and he still has a wood door, so uh, I think he's not online. I hope that doesn't mean he got no loot and logged off, though. I, I really need to get some juice out of this. Alright, outpost run, take two. Let's go. That is quite a scary looking compound to my right. I think we're okay. Let's go. We made it. Okay. Got 150 scrap. I can buy three tack gloves with that. That'll get me a good amount of cloth. Enough to keep me going from now. Taking advantage of the tactical glove trade in the outpost shop, I could recycle them down for sewing kits, which in turn recycled for more cloth. And now, all I had to do was make it home. Hey. There we go. Now that I'd built up my store of both cloth and low grade, I could craft myself meds. It was time to start roaming with some tier 2 weapons. Okay, now I'm doing something quite random here. I'm actually going to roam with P2 Silencer, because it's still quite early on in wipe, at the point where firing just immediately draws everything to you. And I also want to try and farm some animals as I go, so I think having the Silencer will let me, uh, kill animals and farm them without giving myself away. I think that guy was about to build. Or put a sleeping bag down. Not sure why else you'd have a building plan out up here. Ah, huh, yeah he was. Had a TC. I feel like this is a real testament to my base location. I don't think there's anywhere else on the map where four hours into wipe on a 1000 pop server, I can farm this much without getting jumped by someone. Let's go. All right. I think it's time for a bit of launch action. Someone's just jumped into uh, that building over there. I'm gonna wait, my up scrap. Oh yeah, Bradley's going for him. I reckon I'll come to recycling. Here we go. <laughs> Bro, I feel like John Wick with this thing, man. It's so weak, but I love it. Oh, it's got nothing. What? He was trying to grub like me. Oh well, I will get this bear. Unfortunately, the one time I go looking for action, and there's amazingly not really anyone there. But I did get a lot of leather, which is huge. And with the more loot you bring back to base, it's always important to continue upgrading, ensuring that you're never too weak to protect all of that loot. With enough space now for a mixing table in my base, I could turn that cooked sulfur into gunpowder. I was nearly ready to raid the neighbor. Never neglect getting a bed down if you can afford it. They are so worthwhile. I think I'm gonna get a locker as well actually, that could be cool.
There we go. Now that looks sick. Starting to feel pretty cozy in here. I like it. Here we go. Four satchels. Should be all I need. Plus, I reckon, one Molotov for the locked tool cupboard. And we're in. very aware that as soon as I throw these satchels down, the group down the hill northwest, and probably the group behind me as well, Jacoby. are both going to come. So I've got to be very quick. Alright, still just the metal door. I'm going to go get the satchels. Last one, come on. Hurry up, man, hurry up. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, easy. Oh no. Oh no. This is not the loot I was hoping for. That is a shame. I was really counting on this guy having run launch a few more times than that. Poor guy who wasn't cut out for wipe day, I guess. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> the group have arrived. <laughs> oh, shit. They honestly might try and raid this base. I'm just gonna stay quiet. They might think I've already gone. I think they might be gone, but I could be getting camped. I think I'm just going to send it. I think we're okay. Guess I'll get this home. Okay, not the most worth, but you know what? A thousand gunpowder and we got an inventory of random bits of loot, so we'll take it. No way are they now door raiding the base. <laughs> what are these guys, man? They're like six deep. And they're sorting out the base? I mean, they might still have gear. Wait, they actually came naked to do it. That is so weird. That is odd behavior. I feel like they must have better things to do. Feels like they're just kind of scouting around. That guy was still there? Okay. I think that was a P2. Alright, well on the bright side, we don't have a close neighbor anymore, which is good. That guy was built a little bit too close for my liking. Okay, and with a metalled up core, this base is now 15 rockets to raid to the TC and my box room, which is not bad. I'm going to go have a little look, see if there are any more bases up on my mountain that I can raid. I have some more low grade now, so I can do some Molotov raids. Might be good. Oh my! What in the world was that? I just disintegrated. Um, and now he can't hit me, I guess? That was weird. M2? Oh, shit. I think that's the group down there. Did he kill me from his roof? He did. Wow. Yeah, he sent someone to come loot me. I don't know how, but it looks like those guys managed to get their hands on an M2. Well, with me being their closest neighbor, I gotta be careful. They could be dangerous. And with that wake-up call to the threat of my neighbors, I got to work upgrading the base.
Nice. That feels better. After finishing expansion, some gunshots at the nearby clan base caught my attention. Oh, this sounds juicy. Oh, this is one of the, the base owners. I gotta go. Oh, oh my. I'm out, I'm out. I'm not getting greedy. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. Wait, I dropped it. Shit. <laughs> Fucking run up the mountain. No way, I just got that perfect timing. They were in shambles. Ooh, let's go. Inventory of farm and three saws. Not bad. I gotta go see if that Arctic got looted. He probably did, but it's worth going back. Oh shit, I didn't. Okay. We'll take it. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near the base. They're on full alert right now. And not long after making it back with all the loot, that the fight moved closer to my home. I want to go to that Thompson. I'll set this up later. Ooh. That guy's got a backpack on. Looks like he's covering bodies. Please don't look my way. Please don't see me. Oh. Damn! Might be a bad idea, because I think you can get me raided, but... I want to grab the SAR and go on my roof. I can kill this guy for sure. Oh, come on. Oh, let me up, man! Okay, he's not on his roof. Oh, got him. I'm dropping my stuff, because there is a very high chance I'm about to get roof camped as I run to the rock. Yep, there he is. Come on, come on, come on, miss. Ooh, that's the M2. I'm alive. Okay. I do not have long to loot here. I have to grab the backpack, though. I can't leave it. All right, we out. We out. Let's go. Oh, it sounds like someone else is fighting them at their base now. That's actually huge. I think I can get away. Well, goddamn, that is how you get a bunch of SAR kits in uh, five minutes. Told you guys, it was all about that one play, and then it happens. I'm gonna TC this. I feel like it would be helpful to have a little flank here. Especially since now I might be on the radar. After making the play, I brought all of the loot safely into my core, and got ready to take another break. Remember, as a solo, it's so important that your mind is always clear and you try and stay positive. And for me, taking regular breaks does exactly that. And after some time, I returned to my wife. Oh yeah, 4K frags, goddamn. You love to see it. I'm intrigued to see whether much has changed outside. Let's find out. base up there. Looks like they didn't expand too much down there. A couple of new bases on the top of the mountain. But honestly, doesn't look like too much has changed. Let's have a look, see what's going on with this base. Might be able to raid it. Oh. Okay. Single wood door. Easy. I'm gonna get three molotovs. Okay, it's actually not bad. You know what, I will 100% take that. Unlocked TC, two Molotovs, and I got a couple rows of farm. Let's go. 
Full whiteout, silencer equipped, I headed into launch site. Oh, this is an interesting little base. This feels like a... Evil worse wildrum esque I kinda like it, man. It's cute. This, this is a, a solo with taste right here, man. He, he knows what he's doing. He's got the, the six triangle metal core honeycombed. Ooh, that is a box right there. I, I gotta see what's inside it. Bro, let me in. Ah, oh. <laughs> one Molotov. I, I'll take it, I guess. Wait, that is a full whiteout right there. Oh, he's AK. I think he's just solo. Oh, he's not solo. Oh, okay. I didn't see that guy until the last second, but he saw me straight away. Fuck! That is annoying. I've got to see if I can catch one of them out. Oh, who's this? Solo has he. I'm really hoping he doesn't just turn around and see me, because I have no idea what gun this guy's got. What the fuck, bro? I just heard him got eaten by a bear, though. I'm going back. I'm running back. I'm tanking the rads. There's no way he has a bag closer than me. Oh, this is more rads than I thought it would be. Come on. Yes. I have no idea where this guy lives, but I feel like he could be back any second. Wait, that's him. That's him. That's him. I can't run, bro. <laughs> I can only walk. Wait, I don't think he's moving. I don't think he's moving. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. Okay, well that was a bit of a scuffed, uh, <laughs> bit of a scuffed time. Night had once again set on the server, and just then, I received a rather unexpected visitor. Uh, man, is this ghost? Yo. Did you raid me? Did I raid you? Where do you live? Uh, I'm your, I'm your neighbor, or I was. Wait, uh, what base? Um, this uh, uh, base just over here. Uh, uh, I know, I don't know. It's like a weird footprint. It's like a wheelchair base. Oh no, I have a feeling this is the base I saturated. Oh, oh, that one. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, my bad. <laughs> Wait, did you read it? <laughs> that might have been me. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Oh. Hey, you didn't have much, to be uh, fair. You were kind of poor. No, I, uh, you, I had to uh, head off because I had to go to school. Oh, I no. Really... Oh, I'm sorry, man. I feel I feel bad. Hold, hold up, hold up. Wait there. I think I'm going to freeze to death. Ah, oh, shit. I'm pretty low. Just uh, come come back when you're alive. I'll, I'll respawn in my back way. Damn, man. That's a bit of a wake-up call. Cause, like, on the one hand, you've kind of got a raid for progression and stuff. Like, it's good. And he lived so close that he could have been a real threat. But now I'm like, damn, man. He just wanted to go to school and come back to a base. And he got offline. Uh, that feels bad. I I'm gonna... I'm gonna give him a start. I, I think I still have his TC in there. So I can give him the tool cupboard back. I can give him a door, some tools, I'll give him some ammo for that buckshot, uh, I've got a furnace for him, he can have a metal hatchet too man, he can be my neighbour, I want him to, to progress, <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go fill up his TC with some upkeep as well, there we go, As he's got some scrap there, enough scrap for a tier 1, <laughs> there he is, over here bro! I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Here you go. Take this. It's okay. Wait, can I ask you a question? Mm hmm. Uh, uh, is it you? <laughs> it may be. It may be. 
I, I like the base design. Man. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I'm literally shaking. Enough bro. for a workbench level one. I've been watching you for years. Aww. Oh, thank you so much, bro. Thank I'm you, literally man. shaking. I've been watching you for years, bro. You're the Aww. reason why I got the game. Oh hell yeah, man. That's so good to thank hear. You so much, I'm bro. sorry for raiding you, bro. <laughs> No, it's okay, it's okay. You, you're used to um, make those bases, and, like the door skin, I could recognize it. Bro, I, 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 to, uh, I told my friend, uh, thank you so much, bro. Hey man, make sure to lock your TC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, good luck. You too, man. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, that guy was so sweet, man. <laughs> Well, it looks like I have a new neighbor, but this time I I'm happy about it. <laughs> it's a good one. Morning came around once more, and I decided that I would give launch site another go. Oh, someone's recycling. Oh, this could be big. Shit, have I lost him? Bro, wait. That's gotta be him. Oh. Okay, that guy was kind of loaded. Wait, I hear a horse. I think he was running to his horse. Oh no, he's so sad. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> he was about to ride off. Well. That's free for me. I'm gonna go outpost. That is a scary looking base. Oh, and of course they're waiting on their roof camping outpost. That does make sense. Oh my God, no. Holy shit. I thought they'd probably just be like AFK or not online. Of course they're in their roof. Classic. With all the extra scrap from the run, I bought low-grade and tactical gloves from the shop, restocking in cloth and low-grade that I was so desperately needing. Well, that'll do. Let's get out of here. What a successful day of rust it has been. I feel like a lot's happened. But uh, I also feel like I've got quite a lot done in not a massive amount of time. I mean, I've played for maybe, what, eight hours of rust? Over the last 24-ish hours. And it's been, uh, it's been a fun wipe. Pretty chilled. Nothing too, nothing too stressful, but still been very productive. And as my adventure came towards a close, I thought I'd go on one final roam. Wait. Base has a active large furnace running. Wonder if I can maybe play to steal what's in it and kill the base owners. Please don't come out of your base now. I want to get to that rock. Okay, I think we're good. I hear, I think two in there. I hear one boots and one barefoot. I mean, they're gonna come out and check it eventually. Ooh, wait, I think they're out. They are. Yep, two, <gasps> three. Fuck it, I think we go for it. Oh no. They don't know where I am. The silence is OP. Okay, one's really low. Okay, that's one dead. That guy's stuck behind the wall. So there should be two more. I think I just killed that guy. I did. There's one guy behind the base. Finds one on the roof. I gotta be careful.
Yo, what? That guy just zoomed inside the base. Holy. They still don't know where I am. Oh, he knows now. Let's go. We got Tommy. Love this guy. Oh, Tommy. No! Someone else! I had that if it hadn't been for that guy. Oh, that is such a shame. I was waiting for so long. Ah, it is what it is.